Hello fellow Patriots, this is ML Caster with the Redneck Renegade Radio. Folks, I'm coming before you because I have something really pressing upon my heart that I need to share with you. We are in dire, dire situation. Alright? I named this, this, uh, this video called uh, Something Wicked This Way Comes. Open your damnable eyes for a reason. Many of us have been lulled into a false sense of security, friends. Many of us are still asleep, even though we think we're awake. We're still asleep. And I can't stand this any longer. I'm coming before you to help wake you up. So wake up for crying out loud. I know there are, there are tier one influencers out there. They're telling us, stay with the plan, stay with the plan, stay with the plan. At the end of the day, we have to ask, what is the plan? You and I are the plan. Until people wake up to that reality, it's not going to be good. I'm going to share with you some information that might startle some of you it's intel that just came out within a few days ago that i received i'm going to be reading from some paper that was sent to me here okay so please bear with me but i'm going to be making this point and i hope i pray that each and every american citizen and patriot listens to these words because something awful and wicked does come. It's on its way and it's already here on our nation. In our nation. Here we go. My fellow patriots. America and Americans have never been in more danger. If we follow the tenets of history, millions of Americans are going to be purged. Because that is what always follows a coup. Yes, I said the word coup. We've had one major coup that's happened to our nation and world. But more importantly, to our nation of America, that's been a two-part coup. All right? Make no mistake about it. America has been a victim of a great and grand coup. First, the coup came into form of a great global psyop bioweapon that has never been isolated and even proven to non-exist. And then multiple gene therapeutic variations and counting have been designed to produce giant profits and exert enormous control over the global population. I think you all can understand what I'm saying there. All right. Then the second part of the coup happened over a little and a little year ago, a little more than a year ago. All right. When 80 plus million Americans voices were silenced and our God given right to choose a leader was stolen by satanic globalists who are trying to usher in the New World Order Beast System. Friends, the Constitution is being erased and there is no firewall between the Fourth Reich and the Kazarian Mafia Communists who have taken over all of the agencies of our government and their genocidal intentions towards freedom-loving Americans. Did you hear what I just said? Wake up from your slumber and open your damnable eyes. I have intel that should help wake you from your cognitive dissonances. Okay? Have you ever heard of a place named Camp Grayling in Michigan? Camp Grayling in the state of Michigan. At the behest of the United Nations, 
the Chinese military has crossed our northern border and are currently in the state of Michigan. That's right, you heard me. The Chinese military has crossed the northern border of Canada and are now in the state of Michigan. They are now occupying an area called Camp Grayling. During the Jade Helm training exercises of 2015 and 2016, putting down an American insurrection, that's you, patriots. The American insurrection is you, patriots, against foreign takeover of a government was rehearsed extensively. One of the locations for these rehearsals was at Camp Grayling in Michigan. Friends, the previous Jade Helm 15 and 16 training exercises involved UN peacekeeping forces and our very own military at Camp Grayling. This even made it clear, I'm sorry, this event made it clear that UN forces will eventually be used against the United States citizens. Here are the events as they unfolded during Jade Helm. However, these training exercises have become active and the chi comms are heavily, heavily involved. The mainstream media admits what the independent media has been telling an ignorant America for years. Before you marginalize this bold statement about the Chinese UN troops operating in Michigan, you might actually want to consider some hardcore, irrefutable evidence from our past, all right? Let's go back to the mainstream media, Fox News, in 2017, wherein this is an actual report that I'm going to read to you from a clip from Fox News. <clears throat> the United States, quote, the United States, is announcing its support for a set of principles that give a green light for UN peacekeeping troops and police to use force to protect citizens, civilians, that's you patriots, in armed conflicts. U.S. Ambassador Samantha Power told high-level UN meetings on Wednesday focusing on the responsibility to protect civilians that the United States was proud and humbled to join 28 other countries that have pledged, 28 other countries have pledged to abide by all the 18 other pledges within the United Nations peacekeeping mandates. And from these 29 countries, they are now required to act in the cases where civilians are in danger. The Gigali principles are designed to make sure that civilians are not abandoned by international community again, she said, end quote. Wake up! Wake up! The United Nations is not coming to an unsuspecting America. They are already here, folks. They are waiting for enough chaos to ensue to justify taking over our country. Undoubtedly, people are asleep. I'm sorry. Undoubtedly, people that are asleep are going to say, oh, Fox News, they didn't say that the UN troops are coming to America. Really? I don't mean to confuse anyone on the left and the right with these facts, but please try and answer this question, okay? Bear with me. When Antifa and Black Lives Matter are successful in using their newfound allies from the CCP, MS-13, and ISIS, remember all the videos of the Afghan political refugees aboard our military aircraft that we've seen in the last two weeks of 40 plus thousand military aged males with no background checks arriving in your American cities and states, courtesy of the government and the current administration. What if the aforementioned people and groups 
decides to carry out unlimited Las Vegas style attacks or even worse, what is the UN going to do? That's the question. By policy, they're going to bring their 28 nation peacekeeping forces to America. It's called the Kigali Principles. Look it up. Please look it up. Oh, wait, wait. What am I saying? What am I saying? They're already here, right? That's what we're saying. These 28 peacekeeping force nations are already here in our nation. I have been trying to teach this and wake people up to this fact for 15 years. So wake up, wake up, wake up. Let me spell this out very clearly, friends. The deep state satanic cabalist have success, I'm sorry, have succeeded in lining up unlimited fundings and willing participants in bringing holy hell to America. It has already started. Your own government has sold you out and has agreed to let the blue helmets take over this country on a set of contrived and consequences, I'm sorry, contrived consequences promulgated by the left and by the right. Remember the second part of the grand coup that took place that I had mentioned previously? It has taught, if it has taught us anything, it is that Chai comms have infiltrated every level of our governments. Not just our main government, governments, our state governments too. They are cooperating with the UN in trying to bring America to its final defeat. The UN takeover of America has already been rehearsed under the 2015 and 2016 Obama administration. While many of you were busy watching CNN and those on the right watching Fox News, this is what happened underneath your noses during the two years of Jade Helm drills. Camp Grayling is a FEMA camp, friends. It's a facility in Grayling, Michigan, and it was the site of martial law training for the Michigan National Guard, which commenced on July 15th, 2015 during the jade 15 operation this facility also houses hundreds of un military vehicles the foreign troops training at the fema camp facility camp grayling are clearly un troops who are undoubtedly training for the inevitable with regards to obama's july 1st 2016 executive order whereas it says quote united nations peacekeepers may soon arrive and see action on american soil following the united states announcement of support for a set of principles that give a green light for u.n peacekeeping troops and police to use force to protect civilians in armed conflicts End quote. And that is from the Military Times. During the Jade Helm days, thousands of Polish and Norwegian troops were housed at Camp Grayling. However, in the summer of 2021, we're still in the summer of 2021, Camp Grayling received new guests. The Chai Coms have come to Camp Grayling. Let me repeat myself. The Chai Coms have come to Camp Grayling. Wake up! Three nights ago, I received a cryptic text, and it read, quote, the invasion is on, end quote. These sources stated that members of the Chinese military had crossed our northern border with Canada. Two days later, a member of the Michigan National Guard who reached out to us about his 2015 concerns regarding the activities of Camp Grayling contacted us 
to state the following. It has been a while, but it would seem that all of our previous discussions about the UN, foreign troops, etc. have come full circle. Camp Grayling is active again. This time, the Chinese military is occupying the facility, and they are involved in urban assault training exercises at the facility according to the guards that are stationed outside the camp. The Chinese arrived on Tuesday. This is Tuesday of last week, friends. Tuesday of last week. It has been reported that these Chinese soldiers speak perfect English. Do you know if these FEMA do you know if these are FEMA guards or something else? Is the question being asked to us? He goes on to say, I learned that the Chinese approached one of our security stations. Two of the Chinese were in full American uniforms. They presented written orders that they were allowed to proceed to the camp unescorted. They spoke perfect English. The guards thought they were American troops of Chinese extraction, but when the entire column proceeded to pass our checkpoint, they were all in Chinese military uniforms. They were an estimated 500 plus. Chinese and consisted of mostly light infantry and a whole lot of communications equipment. End quote. Wake up, America! Wake up! America, the Chinese are here as part of the United Nations. We can expect major false flag attacks, including bioweapon attacks, quite possibly, quite realistically. This will justify rolling out the UN troops. And remember, the Norfolk Naval Base in Virginia has been turned over to NATO for the same reason. I would expect we are going to see the rollout of medical martial law, just like Australian style, and we can expect foreign troops, gun confiscations, to come to our homes following a mass casualty event with which will no doubt be blamed on the number 45 supporters of number 45 and this will be the excuse to take down America why choose chinese soldiers who speak perfect english one might ask the answer is simple they are the vanguard there's that word, vanguard. They are the vanguard of an occupation force and they need to be able to communicate with the American people. This would be necessary for FEMA camp operations as well as gun confiscation efforts. The takedown of America is accelerating. The players are in place and they are waiting for their signals, friends. The plan is simple, yet comprehensive and relentless. The subversive groups plan to create as much chaos as possible. The stage has been set for the UN intervention. Gun confiscation will be the order of business following a series of false flag events or attacks. Ask yourself. What do you think they are going to do with the members of the independent media, tier one, tier two, tier three influencers like myself? Gun confiscation will be followed by FEMA camp incarcerations for at risk people. Wake up, friends. Wake up, patriots. Do not be distracted. There is a lot of effort being made out there to distract our full attention and look somewhere else. I've been saying, get your homes in order, get prepared, because things are about to come down fast, real fast. Will you have the time to respond? 
Will you have the ability to take care of your own when this happens? I pray that each and every one of you listen to these words. I know you all are feeling that something, something is about ready to happen. And I know there are many on the other side of this aisle who says, hold to the plan, all is well, things are in control, they're happening the way they're supposed to happen. Well, they're partially right. Things are happening the way they're supposed to happen. Please, please, I'm begging you, take this matter to the Lord, get direction on what you guys need to do to protect yourself and your families, your communities. We have Afghan political refugees being flown into our nation by the tens of thousands and being placed all over these major metropolitan areas throughout our country with no background checks conducted on them. None. No medical background checks are being done or conducted conducted on them none and yet we've got many 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 americans that are being left over in afghanistan and i know people are going to say it's all part of the plan this is all part of a false flag black flag operation in afghanistan well that's all fine and well over there but what about here these people are going to come into our communities and just disappear like ghosts but yet they're going to be receiving directives on where they're supposed to report at, who they're supposed to be reporting to. They're not coming here, friends, for the American dream. They're not. I'm sorry that I've had to raise my voice, but I'm trying to wake you up. We are in an awful situation here. And I do not believe the innocent lives of our fellow citizens is part of that plan. I love you. Keep your powder dry.